All right, everyone, welcome to another league with the Crystalline Giant de deck. I had to run it back. I had to run it back. I couldn't, couldn't contain myself from doing it. Maybe we just go 0 and 3 now, which is what we deserve, I guess, from a bit of luck we had last one. But you know, I just still haven't scales. We just add something. And you know, most of the time, that's something I said many times that we lose a lot of mind about the deck list. And in reality, the deck is quite strong. Basically, whatever you play in it. We are on the draw. We are playing against SG Bode. Mm. I mean, Mimic is just good to accelerate. You need to think of Mimic. So, um, somebody's asking, is saying that Mimic sometimes doesn't stick around to do anything, and it's true. Oh, wow. What a hand. But Mimic is an acceleration. You should think it more like a Yano, uh, like a Noble Hierarch or something like that. There's also a, a, an artifact. Keep it. What do I keep, I bring back though? Put a land. From the draw, we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna put a land. So yeah, Mimic doesn't stick around a lot, but when it does stick around, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, and it's kind of acceleration. It's basically just a way to get onto the battlefield faster. So it's like the same way you don't want to play too many Yanowar pluses. You don't want to be playing too many uh, Noble Hierarchs on a deck. You don't want to be playing too many Mimics. But Mimic has the added value that the counters are almost kind of relevant, are always kind of relevant, and you can always name Thopter or name Servo on it. I'm guessing they'll take an animation module, but they also could take the Hangar back. Well, I think they're lucky and good, right? I've been drawing pretty much, pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But whatever. So we probably against some kind of form of jaunt or rock deck. Very creepy looking dude around here. Um, I may actually get myself down the throne of Geth. Oh, again, man. And six. So against head interaction, it's it's a not that bad of a line to play Turn of Death first. Like for example, if we play Thorn of Geth this turn. We and ne next turn we can actually, for example, sacrifice the Dark Steel Citadel to proliferate. So they have a land drop, they got the Blondstein Mine back. They played. They have the 12, man. This jump deck sometimes they kill, it, kill themselves, which is rather interesting. They could have um, I was gonna say, um, another discard spell, of course, but take the hangout like this time around. I'm gonna go with. Fine. Maybe we should play the... the oh, scales. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to look for something with Ancient Steerings. Kind of unlikely that they have another land. I mean, another... I like him. That allows us to... They, hmm. Ah, we should buy it. Should play the Ravager. Okay. Didn't they plot? They even forgot to blast this? They did actually. Because we draw another land. Or why would they tap out, right? So if we draw another land next turn, we can win. By... Yeah. Hmm, that's a choice. If we draw another land, then we can actually uh, win next turn. Actually, even without the land, we just activate. That's one. Four. Activate them. 
Okay, I'll play it. Let's see if they don't have any interaction. If, it, if they eat it, uh, whatever. They have four guys, man. So they need a removal spell, basically. Sometimes they don't have it. And we can pretty well play around Bolt. We cannot really play against Fiber Bush. They got a line back. They forgot to do that last time. Ryan 6 is so good. So obviously not gonna... Ah, uh, okay, that's maybe why. Because they need to fetch first. Our best dream is that they... They play a Blood Bale, but it doesn't seem so since they're actually going into combat. They're not attacking. The land of the Bale. That's... That's sucky. Miscalculated. Okay. Yeah, probably playing this here was not a good idea. I'm gonna sacrifice it myself. Oh. Yeah, that was not the greatest. Uh, mm. At least we can kill the Liliana. Do we even want to? Do we even care about the Liliana? Uh, Liliana will actually just make it so they discard cards. So I will. Uh, I don't want to tap it. I will attack them, get the counter. Yeah, maybe this game I should have played the the throne the end the anything. Maybe I should have played the hangar lock. Lagging a bit. So if they plus the Liliana, they actually get rid of their own resources, which could be aligned, but well. Um. Yeah, Liliana was kind of the, the best play. And this is going, is working kind of better. I guess it's just this kind of land. Mm. They have another blast in my. I hit them again with the emoth. Uh, I didn't play it really well this game. I think I should play the hangar back turn too. Kind of goofed around a bit too much with the Nogat. I have not activated it yet. I should play the hangar back turn too. Happening. Hmm. 
So bail, relics are good, and a certain amount of these members are good. Um, Falling jar is good. What is not good? Mm, Talon Unix not good. Civil Overseer. And the play is good. Man, the play is good. I want Thorn of Geth can go. And I want Crystalline Giant just for. Because they have so much interaction. Oh. Yeah, I should put a hang of a walker there. I don't know if we have one anyway, but still, it would have been better. Now here we have the choice of do we want to play the animation model or the Hammond scales? Or should we play in the forest? I just think Hammond scale. I mean, it's better, animation model is better against interaction, but we also have the Ozolith, so maybe we should play the Ozolith, actually. So Inquisition, as always have it, you know, jump players, they have this magic ability. I guess they take the animation module. Maybe Sandy, if we don't do, draw a threat, it will be, it will do nothing. But if we do, they take the animation module. If we do draw a threat, it can do a lot. So, this looks awfully familiar to the last game, eh? I don't like it. We can add them with a 2-3 uh, in mod next turn. Now the thought is okay, they will take the Ozoli this time around. Not much we can do about that. <clears throat> yeah, we play this Hannah skills, we don't play around Maelstrom Pulse. Seems kind of bad. I'm gonna play the Pendle Haven. So what's better to play around? Custom Pulse or Hammond Skills? Or like Liliana the Bail? Um yeah, I have Maelstrom Pulse is brutal. But I have this card spell. Yeah, I will I will attack them with the Ingmoth. Okay, they have it, damn it. Yeah. I was hoping they didn't have the Fado push, but they do. Well, that's not about root. Yeah, we've been having a lot of a lot a real hard time against uh, John lately. Yeah. It's a goif. I'm just not going correctly. I've been, I've been drawing your air. At least we're gonna get it, get going by Liliana the way. I mean, we have all the... We, we're just missing a payoff or two. But maybe it doesn't reach. <sighs> they probably look for... Uh, they have a Bloodbeard off, probably. Good. So we'll take seven. Maybe should I save the Emoth Nexus and... and I mean, if I draw a Ravager now, I would have won if I had the Ingot Nexus still. Seem to be... Yes. Okay, Ancient Cynics. Well, at least we found a Hangalog Walker. Actually, when we win with this, I easy. What do they do? Green. Get it back. 
a lot of basics. Another sounds good. Uh, I need to sacrifice. Terminate them. Let's see. This five, eight, eleven. We kind of bolt us. We align this turn, right? What is going on? They have played a land. They cannot bolt us, but they can have a fatal push. That would be kind of the, the... So we can block with one, I guess. Okay, this can actually kill another one. Oh, no, actually they got something back with Ren6 already. We take six. I think this is good. It could have interaction. That would not be great. Or life. Hmm. Okay, so if I move these counters over here, that will be six, six, seven, seven. And then I proliferate, that will be ten, eleven, twelve. Not even that. So let's count again one second. Um, so this will be a I attack with both. Contest come here is gonna be six, seven, eight. And then I sacrifice the throne to itself. Um that will be nine, eleven, yeah, and this twelve. Um I also try to look for a worker, I guess. Bale of Summer. Uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have blocked last time. It was only five. I got one actually. If I play here, no, it doesn't make any No, because if I go to combat, put the counters over here. The so 7 7. Sacrifice here. This will be a 10 10. This will be a 2. Uh... Yeah. No other way, right? One life too short, and then we can, actually we cannot block this. Ah, we could block, block, and still leave. Now actually we'll kill this with rain and six. Ah, actually we can still leave somehow. Yeah, so. Attacking doesn't win us the game there, sadly. For one damage, I should have taken that. I would have won if I had taken that. Hmm. So we are gonna go ahead on this. Sadly, we don't have another line for Veil, so. Okay.
You take this member, interestingly enough. He's on pyro. Okay. Hey, on in. Mm. Are we doing it? Look here, look here. Maybe we find a vault, but not much we can do about that. No. Oh my god, we won this game! <laughs> wow! Wow! Ah! How is this possible that we actually won this game? Jesus. <laughs> Damn it, their lucky don't look good, guys, as I always say, and everybody says. Let's bring a Karn, let's take a throne and get out. Karn seems pretty good. I let's cut the Steel Overseer and let's leave a throne. One throne is good. Holy moly. Did we actually beat, beat them there. Amazing. Still by off. Two lands, oscillates. I guess this is fine. I mean, I just don't want a mulligan. This is just mulligan is death against them. Oh wow, they don't, they don't do it. Okay, okay. I got behind this. I'm get behind these draw steps. Wow, I cannot believe we actually won there. We have to dodge so many things to not die. Do it now. We don't mind much. Bad, but it's not. Mm. So they just drew this, right? Why wouldn't they have played the last turn? I mean, I'm gonna conserve my life totally, even though we. Sh I'm gonna keep the mystery. I'm gonna play the Throne of Geth. Next time we can play Worker and, and, and Hangalak, maybe. And this just do that this card spell. That's clear. So, there's no point in, I mean, they, can, they have to top deck another discard spell. And we're kind of injured against Liliana the Veil, because we have a uh, Ozoli. Second Ozoli we can discard. So, I'm not even mad. This card of land. My turn. So actually, I'm not looking bad. They didn't shock so much this time around. One of the reasons we won last game is because they shot like crazy.
I like this line, sacrificing the weldings out of there. If I had that RCC, I would of course sacrifice that, but that's how we maximize our counters. Actually. Okay. Okay. And that was rather misplayed against, I guess, by them. Oh, we have a removal spell. I don't know, guys, showing the power in this game. I feel this is a bonus game, honestly, guys. Actually, Crystal and Giant could be really good here. We still keep the Ozolid around. Cross the pause. Probably would rather deal with the Liliana than the Ren on six. I, I want to play this before combat, so it gets the counter. Now they're like, what? New card. So how this, you always want to put the Ozzle list sec, uh, first on the stack, like this. So you get the ability, and then you maybe could, could decide to sacrifice it. So they're bolting here before it gets ability um dude i'm just gonna suck it make even bigger the, the hang of the walker the beauty of throne get them huh? sadly doesn't get any do we have an eight eight walker mm. We're gonna attack the Liliana. Kill it. This doesn't really do anything right now. That's a turn. They concede. They have been ozolet. <laughs> Why wouldn't they bolt before? They misplayed that last turn so badly. They should have started by. Yeah, I don't know why they let me proliferate. I don't understand. But we won. We took. We take what they give us. Crystal and Giant was kind of nice, eh? You know, like forcing that bolt. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Okay. We draw a land, draw a worker. Well, at this point, we are even interested in just sacrificing the Hangalak. Like, next turn, probably we'll be attacking them. Because the Ren 6 is just not doing much. We attack them. We play the Arvan Worker and we wait until the end step, and then we play the Throne of Get. We sacrifice the. That's some person of sorcery. We sacrifice the Hangover Walker, get a million counters, a million totters, and just attack for the win. Actually, they, yeah, maybe the Worker. Maybe they minus the Ren. To kill the Worker is just one more topter to win. So it's not a big deal. Nice! Crystal and Giant are still undefeated. Can I take a quick break? I'll for sure edit it out. And I'll be right back. You thought I would forget to cut it, eh? Not so fast. Um, this, this game was quite nice. I mean, we, we were pretty lucky to win, I think. But I think I've been doing some... I get some kind of mistakes with sideboarding against John. I tend to cut my... Uh, yeah, sort of gets too much. So if I, this is the list I would be running if I had to run it back again. I would cut the Scavio Recombiner. Honestly, the Crystalline Giant just seems bad. You know, it seems like it does a lot. And even though, you know, even if it just survives the first uh, combat step, then you already get to you already get a, an ability counter, right? So this is probably where I will be running right now, two welding chests. So if I was against John, probably cut these three cards, mostly on the, and probably bring one bay, one dismember, no, one, oh shit, first, 
I'm not doing it right. But I will bring I, one Karn, one Dismember, one Veil. Summer. So even though Karn is a bit expensive, you don't want to maybe to draw two. But one is really strong because if you get it down, you get a Construct. If your opponent doesn't have a way to deal with it, two Construct is something it's hard for them to come back for. And I don't want to play too many Dismembers. And if you see the game is really, really going to be grinding, maybe you could even cut one Throne of Geth and add a second Karn. But the Throne of Geth helps a lot with, uh, with interaction. And maybe on the play, what I would do is add the Steel Overseer instead of one Throne of Geth. So you get this chance of like uh, taking, you know, taking them by surprise and, and winning that way. So this is the yeah, this is the little tip I have for the the matchup. I think I think overboarding on these members can be can be not you know can be detrimental to the chances of winning. You can also bring in a relic of progenitus, but I would only do this in case I see Croxa. Not every list is running Croxa, so if you see a Croxa, I would bring the relic because then you host Tarmogoyf, you host Ram Six, you host Scavenging and you host. Roxa, which it becomes then quite a nice uh, card to have. But if you're only t targeting uh, Scavenging Moons and Tarnogoyf, I mean, they, they actually have quite a few ways to re refill the graveyard quite quickly, right? So you shoot this, and then in, in two turns, or in one turn, like Tarnogoyf is already a 4 5 again. So, so yeah, if they have Croxa, I would bring the Relic. If they don't have Croxa, I don't bring the Relic. And what I would cut for the Relic is either the Throne of Geth, a Worker, or even uh yeah those are the things i would i would cut for it or maybe even crystal and giant if you feel like they have a lot a lot a lot of removal this and giant also plays around collector roof some lists have been running that anyway enjoy the next match but i think our opponent kind of misplayed all right welcome to round two of okay, okay welcome to round two of this uh, modern league i'm playing hammer skills with crystal and giant and I'm eating an apple, excuse me, but I am still extremely dehydrated, so I want to get some kind of uh, water and sugar into me. It's really hot today, and I biked 30 kilometers in a bit less than an hour, so it's quite a lot. The problem with this and for us is that we drew them twice already, two games in a row. And the draw, yeah, I like this. We're gonna play. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Man, exploring a new genre, you know this. Oh no, it just, it's it's I'm strong. Okay. They have spell pierce. Or maybe nah, it must be stone, right? Okay. I have to leave this ancient things finds a a ravager. Could be rather good. I would just die, you know, next turn, but... Oh, I don't know how Okay. Mm-mm-mm. It's not looking good. Mm. I think we're most likely dead. At this point, mm. sorry, but this was so necessary. This apple, Storm is a lot matchup, you cannot win all the matchups in, and Storm is a popular deck, so you cannot win all games in on modern. That's what it is. Storm is a very popular deck right now. If they play mana morphos, they have only three mana, so they cannot cast the Bastion Flames. So I'll, give, I'll put the, the rituals on the graveyard. I always do that. Put the rituals on the graveyard. I don't know if that's good, but it feels like if you give them the rituals, then they get more mana and they can pass in Flames. 
like you know they can flash back past in flames and get more mana and keep rolling cast a second air uh, using given right now they they could actually they can cast past, past in flames tear through that so they so maybe maybe they actually not Remnant. Remnant? Okay, so this is... Actually, they have a past inflation. They shouldn't have taken it out. Alright. Play the Oslith. Play Worker. Worker's a 2-2. Two -two. Sacrifice. Sacrifice the Worker. Put it here. Then this gets 4-4, four, 6-6, four, 7-7, six, six, seven, seven, sacrifice, that is 9-9, nine, nine, and two more counties come here, that's 12. We need, some, we need to find a Ballista. Really badly. They can remnant this, I guess. It sucks. But I will still look for a Ballista. Oh, man. Well, in mod Nexus uh, does it next turn if we survive that far. I see the random this. Uh, yeah. Wait. If we survive until next turn, we we can win. We should run the nations. Oh man, this auto was saving saving race. Resolved. I mean, I'm thinking of not casting anything else. Anyway, we can cast this next turn. So, anyway, this is lethal, right? Because it will be four counters, move them here. Yeah, anyway, this is lethal, so maybe we don't need to even play the worker. I don't want them to, if, if they're Raman, because they got Raman, right? If they're Raman, they basically draw a card. So, why, why let them draw a card, right? And I don't think there's even a point in attacking. I will attack just to see if they block. Please, I don't think they block. Yeah, Storm is quite the deck, honestly. I think we would maybe that, but. So one thing you can do that's pretty cool with the of Nexus and the with this situation we have right now going on. That doesn't do it. Hmm. I guess it, it dodged it because they may dodge it, I don't know. I get a lot of mana. I think that does it. I'm done the mess with that. Sit down and enjoy the solo play. We're pretty close to this game, not even mad. We have been able to find a ballista. Mm. Is it? Keep them from here. Hmm. I'm not sure your bear is good. Dumping fear is good. Um. Have your cage, relic is good. Mm. Okay, sorry, I'm not. Mm. Let's 
So Oh, well in jars. The kind of the maybe bail is good. Maybe you have an anxious claim or uh, this memory is also good. It deals with the with the big with the dudes. This memory is better than damping. Honest question. Hmm. Yeah, on the play, I'll leave this. I may on the draw, I will get us this man. What about the welding jars? Do they bring removal? They do. They, they bring uh, abrades normally. I'll leave the welding jars on. That's one of the reasons I went up to two welding jars because a lot of times they're not the best in like pre border games, but post border they're great. I don't really want to have them though on my sideboard. This can is uh, decent, especially with a. Uh, um constructible with this we'll start with the ozolid anyway because that's a higher upside play and then we or maybe like actually ancient settings is a higher upside play ancient settings is that we guarantee uh all this stuff So that's gonna work then next turn we have Mimic, the turn after we play Gravity Cage and Ozzoli. And yeah. We go from there. I have to leave bottom some bad cards, like a couple of workers and stuff. Not bad, but not, not a lot. I'm alone in my stream. Sadly. That's okay. We will slowly gain a following. Yeah, I wish I could be like more consistent streamer, like say every day at uh, this time. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can say, okay, maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays I can stream like two leaks. Maybe it's something I could probably do. I'm gonna put this on. You know, um, Storm is not a good matchup. I'm gonna type, so I would say the worst matchups right now for scales are probably Storm. Amulet Titan and I don't know some other kind of combo like that. But especially on the draw like we were. We were on the play, maybe we could have won. Actually we were on the play, we would have won. Very much uh, different in this. It looks like my bid rate is finally but fine. Another cage. That's good. That means that we can actually just unload on cages. Mimic. Ah, play off. I'm sorry. It's gonna tag, you know. We we wanna. Yeah, I'm just bring in more of these members. May may the, the relic is not necessary, but cage basically stops them from comboing. But I'll, I was afraid of this guy a bit. Start examining the counter. We draw a ton of hate, but it's okay. For next turn, we can start attacking with the Ima, for example. We can even cycle the relic. Oh man, I was so dehydrated. I drank so much water. It's crazy how fast you feel like when you get dehydrated, your, your brain becomes a raisin. Okay, opponent. Now, uh, you know, this. Just... 
You also want to end the game. Maybe they upgrade our Gathius cage. I don't know if they can. And they go off, like dealing with the Gathius cage and going off. Sounds like a tall order. Sounds like a tall order. Opponent is a thinker. Repeal. Okay. Are we there? I guess they can clear our board with a gut shot now. Oh my god. Are we there? Wow. Well, that was not even close, I guess, if they if they give and given us. I gotta give it to them. We just started the other way around, like first do the rituals and then repeal if they wanted to cast Passing Flames. I'm glad they exiled the Assume Visions. Oh, that's a. Okay, that. Because that basically is a country they can use. I didn't even see what they did with the Seven Visions. Are we dead? I think we are dead. Wow. Hmm. Put two cards on top, okay, so they were just at it. Wow. I mean, we play Graphic Escape. I guess we could have played both Graphic Escape, but I don't know, man. Like. Yikes. Of course, if they don't kill us, they have spent a lot, but they have to kill us. So. I think we're dead. We're just dead. We just add back to it. There's nothing we can do. Hundred percent, nothing we can do. Because they can, they can do all the rituals again. That they are, uh, they got mana morphos and passing flames in their in their hand. They can cast the mana morphos, cast passing flames, do all the rituals again. Maybe should have, uh, I don't know. I should have made it better to get this. I don't know. Oops, man. Well, I guess you kind of win every match in modern. You just gotta. If Storm is extremely popular, you shouldn't be playing Hunter's Kill. With that, yeah. With that. Mm. From here, they will just cast past in flames, get a million rituals. They even had another ritual in hand. They can give and give on us. I guess they can ritual, ritual, ritual. Yeah, with that. Well, two, two turn three kills, even through hate. Some good deck? I mean, whatever, I don't care. I was reading a very interesting article today about how you lose equity as a player. How you, you lose games that you shouldn't, like, in the overall picture. And one of the points was, like, it doesn't matter if the game is close. Like, it was putting an example of, you're playing a combo deck, and you go one and one, so you win the first game easily, first round easy, second round you get destroyed because opponent has a good deck against you. Then your opponent is playing a control, uh, your friend is playing a control deck, and it's just both rounds were like 50 minutes long, and they were like completely grindy, and in the end, win one round, lose the other round. So same results. You have a better feeling about the control player. So if you're the control player, you're like, man, I played some nice magic, it was long, it was, you know, it was a uh, hardcore. But in reality, it doesn't matter. You should be playing the deck that will win the game. Like if you're playing to win, and I'm, I mean, of course I'm playing to enjoy myself. That's why I play hard and skills and I play something else. But basically, you shouldn't, but it, the point is that you shouldn't be afraid that some, some matches you will just get blown up. Like imagine you play a combo deck and you, you just get the obliterator two times. Like you go to a tournament and you go 0-3 out because you know, you, you have one bad matchup, 
So one so one matchup that's really like killing you just before you can go off. Then you cannot do anything, you lose three rounds in a row, you're done. And the the control player may play go out so zero three and, and but you'll have maybe a better experience. But if that same control deck and another weekend can win you seven zero with like and and maybe make a top eight, even though you have like a lower like maybe lower in enjoyment or even sometimes you have like more skill results if the deck is good you should be playing so if you should be playing if you're trying to win the game at this game you should be playing the deck that you think will give you the best chances of winning uh, and that's the thing not the deck that you get more because being game a, a game that you know like midrange they always play kind of close games that doesn't matter you know it's good for your enjoyment of the game but it's really not something that you will that you will make a career out of if you want. Run the play. This hand is just good. This hand is just good. Because we can play hand skills turn one, turn two ancient things, look for land, play the Ozolith. I mean please. We're playing in Stuity and it's a Seros Angel. So that's my point, you know, like um in a way you should be you should be ready to, to lose some games that are completely blow ups. Like you know, I feel hard and skills beats hard in on John, beats hard on a lot of decks, even on Dredge, for example. So why why be worried that they Okay, that's we're playing against that deck. Playing a ballista, no, we cannot draw ballista really single mind. Yeah, so basically some some matches it will just not even be close and that's okay. That's okay. Um We play the welding jar and try to protect this. So because then if they pillage the forest, we we not in good shape. Uh, yeah. Of course, welding jar. I mean, pillage doesn't let you regenerate. So said nothing. Let's see what they play. There's not maybe Lodge, maybe Blood Moon. I don't really care about Blood Moon. That's the thing, when you play a non color deck and we play like 8 basics and we already have our green source down. Just look, another green source. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play both the Worker and the Hangar Lock. I'm gonna play the Animation Model next turn. Ah, no, I actually like playing the animation for this turn. Next turn we can make two, two zeros out of that. Yeah, Blood Moon. I, I much prefer Magus of the Moon than Blood Moon. Because at least it's a 2-2. Two -two. Whereas the, the matches where Blood Moon is bad, it's just... Oh, yeah, okay, it stops the Imoth matches, but... It's, you know, it's stopping one of our lands from doing something. While also keeping them for, from double red, for example, they cannot untap the stomping ground with the Arbor Elf. So if they had a season pilot they couldn't play right now. So right now they are they can only play double green and or like yeah. see how bad that is? Like that's really bad. Ravager. You know I think playing the Ravager and making a servo is the way to go or like playing Ravager and Worker. Ah, nah, I click. Yeah, there I was it. We have a welding jar for lightning bolt. Yeah, we just, we just dodge it. I think they concede it. Okay, so pretty easy game one. Game two though. Against this deck, it's just like this member. I mean they play Clothis, Blood Moon. I'm guessing they may even take out the Blood Moons. Rolling charges are like good against Lightning Ball, but I guess they play Cinder Mines, Post Board, they play Collector Roof. 
is a collector of matcha, so we should be careful with our dismantle. What is not good? I think Throne of Gad is because and still Overseer. Probably not the best. Ah, oh, Crystal and Giant is not. The line Giant. Okay, I'll take out the jobs just and bring up an Aegis Claim. Nature's Claim is only for the Blood Moon. And if we can cast the Nature's Claim, then it, then it doesn't matter if, if there is a Blood Moon. So, whatever. Maybe Karn could be good in this matchup. It's a mid range deck in the end. So, this hand is good. We have uh, this member for the collector roof, we have the Ozolith, we have Giant, Ballista. I'll keep it, the Mulliganing. I really like this red in the mid range, it's one of my favorites. I know I always say it. Sorry, somebody hurt. Jogging. So. Ah, it's always a question. Okay, we do a second dismember, then there is no question. We dismember the Belf. No questions asked. Next turn we can also leave the Ancient Stirring, so we'll still use our mana. Something do you think about this when you're playing, using your mana? Then important concept in magic. Mana is one of your limiting factors. So you gotta you gotta use it. You cannot just uh Sit down and not use the mana. I'll look for a land. So I'm gonna, oof. They're all good cards. There were no lands, so that's still, I'll take this. Ravager or hanger back? We, are, we already have a ballista, so I'm gonna be the hanger back walker. All right, you go, opponent. Um, next turn, we can play another ancient strings and look for a land. Look how much lower it makes it. Even though we we didn't, we kind of dirtled around a little bit. It really is worth it. Yeah, like they would have closed this one turn earlier. You know, that's all that good stuff. So let's see. We don't draw land. Kind of want to draw lands because we have a lot to do with our mana. So I'm gonna ancient strings. Forest, Northering Pitland. All over the forest. And. Ah, do I want to play? I will play animation module, try to grind. Claudius will kill us, so we kind of need to be proactive in killing them. I think next turn we will have good chance. We can also dismember a Glorybringer if they do that. That's what they have to. Or a Collector or whatever. They're actually probably going to go for a Glorybringer. Or maybe a Blood Payoff. They got the green, so maybe that's probably Blood Payoff, right? Okay, they... Yeah, you got it. Is he gonna land drop? Sure. No, I use a PS4. Do I want to dismember this? No, no way. I don't want to dismember. Land would be our best draw. Cards in hand. They have five devotion, so we gotta be careful with that. Hopefully, this member can kill Clothis. Funny. Um, I think I'm just gonna play the Ravager and make a servo to block.
We will die fast to disclose this. Oh. Hmm. I'm missing a lander here was not ideal. We could have hold on to this member. Uh, member. We have 11 and Clovis kills you really fast. This is gonna block with the servo. Can you blow it up? Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Maybe hangar was bad since it was the line we took. In mana. You know what? May I play the Crystalline Giant and block? Yeah, the four other leads are kind of, you know, they haven't been, they have been medium, so to say. They're good, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, opponent. Yeah, I'm missing a land of those kind of bad. Again, land would be the best draw. Yeah, so maybe a change with maze to cut one also leave for anything else. This deck. Oh man. Okay, I have a feeling I have nothing in it. So, I can play Crystalline Giant or Hang of a Walk. I don't have Infinity Time. Okay, I'm gonna play a Crystalline Giant just for memes. Yeah, like, what? Mother? Hopefully no bolt. That'll be kind of punishing. Manas. We have four, four manas. We kind of make servos, now we can't. Um, you go opponent. Hmm, we need to kill them, man. We need to start killing them. But for that, we need land. And hands here. Mana has been a limiting factor this game. We that, we got them to 9, they're at 19. Both these are so good. Both these are incredibly good. It would be nice if uh, this crystalline giant got lifeling. I mean, we have one in Nate to, to do that. Please, no. Okay. Are ah, they just bumping us? We take, we take four. Get that with this. So we got a counter and mana is out. Hey, on a skill. I don't really remember anything. Mm. I guess I can play this later. There we are here. 
Oh, here we go live. Not that. So my plan is to block the Bone Crusher Giant, shoot down the Blood Bay off, and that will turn off the Clothis. Oh, giant man doing it. To make a good cut the Nozzle for a Scraviary Combiner. This one Pyro. Okay, that will not. So we have one, two, we have four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the best value. So I can I anyway will do the same play. I'll just block. I need to block here and then move. If they had not found the, of course they could have bought or not right now. Right? If they had not found the season pyromancer, it's going to be much better. Okay, we're going to one. Bolt? I mean, if they have bolt, they can just do it. Plant. Another season pyro. So what options do we have? We can play the worker, that will be a 2-2. Two -two. Sack it, gain a life. Put three counters here, that will be a 7-7. Seven -seven. Okay, man, I like, I like that play. I really like that. So this will be eight, we take 10 next turn, 10, 14. Really, maybe I just block with a crystalline giant. You know? Because if I attack them, this will get this will get them six counters basically. So there will be an eleven eleven with something, with an ability. Hopefully vigilance. Vigilance would be huh. Vigilance would be the dream. But I will sack it, put the counters here, that will be a seven seven. Two counters will go here. No, no, there will be only a ten ten. Of course we get six counters. Hello, person that's in the stream. Mm, also, what we could do uh, attack with the crystalline giant, dismember the clothes, but yeah, this member is just opponent. Ball? I mean, they have a ball, they can kill us. I don't think they play anything else. Any nature's claim they play? Dude, I would gladly they nature's claim now. We could also play the hangar back. Then we have three blockers, so we can block one, two, three. We're gonna take three and we gain four. Wow. That's very close. There's also an option, right? Hmm. What is better actually? It's interesting because we could play we could play the hangaback and block. And they need they need to have something. So now the idea is if we sack here and we move counters, we get a 10-10 life linker. 
That means that we will go effectively at 11. We block here and we take 4, 6, 8, 9. So we're not dead. This will be 6. We take 6, 8. No, so we will take 6 here, then 11. So actually, we are dead. <laughs> This will be a 10 10, right? So we put three counters at the 7 7, three counters at the 7 uh, 10 10. I oh, know we'll be at 12 actually because we gain one life from the Phyrexia score. That means that we are hoping to, to dodge a whole lot of things. Hmm. If we get Vigilance though. What else could we get that is relevant? First strike, maybe. Lifeling, menace, reach, trample. That's a choice, that's a choice. If we play the Hangover Walker, we have three blockers. Then we go down to. Ah, no, we play. Okay, with that, we play the Hangover Walker. The Clothes will kill us. So, okay. No, no more hesitation. Actually, I need to. I need to. The Clothis will kill us before we can do anything else, so... We need to attack. We, 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 the only out we have is to find the... Man, the like, mana really cost us this game. Example. I think we're dead, right? We attack and they crack back. Yeah, we, yeah, we need vigilance there. That was the only thing that won us the game. One in eight. Mm -hmm. Still, Giant was pretty good. Um, yeah, these members were great. Animation mode is fine. Throne. Hmm. I could see myself cutting one welding jar. Ah, pretty good. This, card, this game is kind of grindy, so. If you play Steel Overseer turn one and it survives, I mean, turn two and it survives, that's a really big. Wow, that's a six line hand. All right, happen. Scales, animation module, okay, that's. That's this. Um, given that they play Blood Moon, I honestly think Pendle Haven is better than Ingmoth Nexus. Ah, no. But I will keep the forest. And we anyway played. So I actually could just. Yeah, but I want the green sources later. So. Pendle Haven, I guess it is. Goes down. Or animation model, do we care about animation model? Mm, they kept seven, so animation model will put it back. Animation model is pretty. We can find lands with these things, but we want to find a threat with these things. Mm, choices, choices, guys. Maybe it's just I like the I like to have three lands. Feels like we are kind of choked on mana. So we have Hand Skills turn 1, Ozolis turn 2. Hmm. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get land. So we play Forest, Hand Skills, we go. Forest, to be a sprawl, we go. So what do we play? We play the Ozolith, for sure, and the animation module. And then we wait and see if we draw another line next turn. Yeah, so. <sighs> Let's see. Hmm. Oh, 
Also because if we find a land, then uh, Ravager can survive bolts and stuff. Now the thing that scares me a bit is Pilash, actually, on the forest. Collector Oof. Okay. Still a uh, 2 2 vanilla. Hmm. Hmm. Do I look for a land or just play? Yeah. Look for a land. Hmm. I like I like a lot the the Llano were born. It's making a servo. Hmm. Also like the hangerback. No, but man, I need land. I don't worry. Shield. I did not see there was a dismember there, but I don't think so. I dismember. Uh, so I will put the counter on the router so we have a 4 4. Like, if we draw dismember, this game is pretty good. Because we have the Ozolith, you know, the Ozolith keeps on bringing back. Take a creep P, baby. I'd be surprised if they don't attack. Do I care? Two damage down. I would rather have a servo. Especially if we, if we can find this member at some point. Blood Moon. Oh, we cannot graft. Sadly. I'm named Beast. Oh no, I can name Servo. Oh. Oh, I should not have done this. Should not have done this. Oops. That was a mistake. Do this. Now they need to answer this, but still, I should have, uh, should have played Ravager. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was so bad. Should I play the Ravager? Right. Okay, uh, Modular will go to the Servo Saver. So, if they have Glorybringer, that's bad for us. Oh. Well, that sucks. Keep attacking, eh? This server is going to be buff. Um, yeah, that was not a good play, by the way. Uh, home. Yeah, actually playing the Mimic there was super bad. <laughs> they just play the Ravager and shield, make a Servo and shield. They're 11, you know. They have two cards that don't do much right now. 
And the other lift keeps on delivering. Sure. The power of the Ozolith, man. Can't, sadly. Good thing about playing against Collector which you have no... Hey. A zero card in here, right? The Ozolith, man. What a cut. Exactly. They get buffer. I do want to block here, so be it, man. Ah. Block here. They have anger of the gods, but if they have anger of the gods, they 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 lose the yeah they lose the game. Seen the binds? Yes, they can target here. What is that gonna do? Yes, this can target the servo. You should hear. Yeah, pay with this. That three, the animation module, also the current skills triad, showing them. This collector roof players. Who's boss? 